are when you don't know if you're coming back or not every year. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to ever feel like you left anything. You know, you didn't put it all out on the table. So. Um, Obviously, at the end of every year, we're not sure. And, uh, and we, we took it pretty far uh, at the end of last season in terms of even Ellie discovering the secret. But, um, but I think you know, we were able to, to buy it back, and now there's a real tension in the relationship between Chuck and Ellie because he's promised her he won't be a spy, but at the same time, he's got to find mom. And so that, that's something that's going to be a, you know, uh, a big part of, of their dynamic. Um, but you know, we, we, we track it out very, uh, very closely, and it's something that you know we figure Jeff will be the last to know. That much we can promise you. And even if, even if Jeff did find out, we're not sure he would remember the next morning. <laughs> well, I mean, Sarah, was it a relief for you to finally be, you know, the last one of Chuck's inner circle to be let in the loop? Uh, I think where Yvonne was thrilled with some of the lighter fare is just. Back to to Chuck keeping a secret from from Ellie when she's asked him to retire and put everything and be safe and and uh, so I look forward to that dynamic again this year. Sarah Leslie, isn't she hot? <laughs> signed by the cast and producer. So check under your seats, 50 of you have the magic ticket, and you can redeem it at the Warner Brothers booth. Are there 50 other seats that are on the tracks? <laughs> so who knows? <laughs> and, and while they're looking, I just want to ask uh, the Bymore guys, when, you, when the Bymore blew up, did you have any fears about uh, unemployment? You were going to turn the chairs off. Yes. <laughs> Not only did I fear unemployment, but I thought that I'd piss someone off so bad that they were like, we are going to show that brown bastard. <laughs> we're going to burn his roll to the ground. And Krinsky's like, why me? You took me down. No, I'll take everybody down. Everybody's coming down. You want to see a blaze of glory? Yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you a blaze of glory. Uh, Josh and Chris, can you tell us quickly what to expect from the Buy More game this season? Well, we had an idea of doing like a spin off series of Jeffster on the Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea that they had to like pack their provisions on the run, and for some reason Jeff only brought a loofah. <laughs> and they're like playing games at the Whisper Lounge at the Holiday Inn for change, and no doubt Lester's hooking. But, uh, <laughs> but needless to say, these guys are a huge part of the show, and we can promise you, they will be back. Okay, so I think we have time for just a few questions from the audience. Uh, does anybody have anything? I'm sorry, we're out of time for questions. That's a joke, right? Seriously? Seriously. Do you have a couple Some million dollars? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Just pass the buckets. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.